Hello ladies and gentlemen, from head to toe, this next guy, I mean he almost needs no introduction, see? But it, I'll do it anyway, that's Ron Royal right here, man. Receiver, Detroit Lions, how's that sound? Detroit Lions. Sounds very good. Like it. You like it? Like you know, it, it was, I, I did a little research on some guys leading into this thing, and one of the things I thought that was really fascinating about you, you're one of the first guys that I've seen, and maybe, I'm sure this happens all the time, where you were born, went to high school, and in college in the same city. Yep. How crazy is that? Pretty crazy, my life. Pretty normal to me. Yeah? <laughs> and you have all those guys around you, and all your family and friends and all right that. There. Yeah. And now you're going to Detroit. Yeah. It's cold but it's up time there. for a change, though. It's, it's cold up there. I think I'll be all right. You all right? We'll play inside, so that's a good thing. Oh, well, that's a good point. Yeah, because it's cold outside. Yeah, for sure. All right, so. I want to hear you give me a couple of lines from your favorite song. Give me a couple of lyrics. What's the best lyric that you can think of in your mind? I want to hear it. I don't want to just add this. I want to hear you belt it out. Man, I just saw, I just met Mario last night at the celebrity football game. One of the guys I listened to growing up. Mario and Mario. Yeah. So it's just, man, it, it's a remake from, I think, Biz Marquis back in the day. Oh, man, my tune, my, my tunes aren't too fresh right now. It's all right. You know? I right. sang a little too much last night, so don't judge me. Okay, we're it. ready. It's in American Idol. She says, I'm just a friend. Oh, baby, you, you got what I need. She says, I'm just a friend. That's it right there. That's all I got. All right, well, hey, that's a lot better than I can do. Yeah. So, well, growing up as a kid, give me your favorite pop corner moment. Ah, oh, man. All right, fifth grade, I'd say. First time wearing pads. It was a football game. One of my best friends that I still talk to, hang out with to this day. I was kind of taunting him. I was running down the field. He was a lineman, so I didn't think he was going to catch me. So, I kind of juke a little bit. And I get to the end zone, and I jump, and he just tackles me, and I kind of flip over, and I kind of hurt myself. But we talk about that to this day. Did he play football? Did he go on to play football too? No, nah, he stopped in high school. Oh, he stopped? All right, all right, I give you that. So, did you collect cards growing up as a kid? Not much, not no? much at all, huh? But I've seen cards, you know, I will always dream of being in cards. So yeah. now I have my own card now, so it's a good deal. So, what was it like when you saw yourself then on the, for the first time on a Panini card? It's starting, it's all starting to make sense when I'm in the NFL, you know, it's kind of, it's a dream come true and I'm still kind of floating trying to figure out myself man I don't I just found a place out in Detroit so I'm starting to get settled so I can really grasp on some well I'll tell you you were one of the most unique guys in that when we showed you your first car you knew the moment time everything about the picture we used in that photo tell us tell us what tell just in your words what that what that moment was uh, the picture on the card was playing against Kansas I believe it was the seventh grand game of the season in my senior year this last year um, I caught the ball, it was a go ball, I remember how the scenario was, right off a timeout. Uh, coach was like, we're going to get you the record right here. So, put me on the outside, I played inside, outside, they were like, we'll get, you, we'll get you a touchdown on this right here, and they get the catch. Put me on the outside, they were running like a cover four, guys looking in the backfield, the corner is. I ran straight past them, do the ball up, I catch it into the end zone, it was my 317th catch to break the all-time receptions record, and it was to break the all-time touchdown Big 12 record. Wow. Well, I guess now, since we have a pretty good relationship now, like I almost consider you to be like a best friend and all, I lied to you because I said I wasn't going to talk football. It's all good. Is that? I apologize. Ah, uh, it's all good. So let me switch subjects. And growing up as a kid, what was your favorite toy? My favorite toy? I've Ooh. heard Tonka truck. We heard Hot that Wheels. Brings it back. That brings it back. I was. They didn't collect cards, so I want to hear. A I toy. was into wrestling. Me and one of my best friends into wrestling. We had the little WWF ring. We had all the figures. Oh yeah. Uh, man. Who who was flying off of your top ropes? Which figure? Superfly Snooker, Hogan. The man, Hulk Hogan was the man. I remember he had his show not too long ago. I had to check out the show. I, one thing I remember from that is eating the eggs. He would wake up in the middle of the night and eat eggs. So I tried that. It lasted a couple days and that was done. But the wrestling, it, it's in my heart. So now that you've been through this whole process, draft, you're here, you're going to Detroit. Give me five words, just five. Five quick words to describe this whole process. Hectic, amusing, Ooh, fun, that's generic, um, intense, and man, I just, I have more than a couple words, you know. I'm floating through life right now, just 
float. Well, well you're about to float to Detroit. So, That's a 16 hour float from Norman, Oklahoma to Detroit. Now, Fiance took that, that to drive up, bring a car up. 16 hours, I gotta take that to get another car up here soon, so I'm not looking for that. Hopefully it is a float, not a ride. All right, one last question. I always like, this is always one of our most favorite questions. So here we are, you're riding in the sunset. You're floating. Floating. Who is, who is floating in the movie about your life? Who is playing you? A lot of people say I look like Jamie Foxx. You know, he's a talented man. Only if I, my vocals are kind of like his. I'm still working on that. Uh, man, Jamie Foxx. Who's your love interest? Love it. Who's the one playing opposite you? Who's the female playing opposite your character? My fiance. Very bad. Good answer I'm right there. No one else. Good answer. I, and I have a lovely wife at home too, so I totally understand. Man, we wish you luck. Appreciate it. You're going up there to Detroit. Best of luck to you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you.